So this will be part two of our user email ver verification using Spring Boot. And in this tutorial, we are going to set up the secure token model. The secure token model is simply a POJO for holding um, the token data. So I'm going to go to the security models folder and I'm going to create the secure token model. So I'm going to create a class secure token and this class will be we are going to add a data annotation sorry not you a data so the long box is going to give us the getters and the setters and the constructors um just the getters and the setters i think data doesn't provide constructors um we also need this to be entity and we need to give it a table name so name should be secure tokens now we need an id for this so i'm going to create the id private is going to be long id and this is going to be at id and it's also going to be a generated value and strategy is going to be generation type of identity. Then we also need the token fields, so private string token. So this is going to be the token and it's going to be a unique field. So we are going to add the unique constraints to the column unique is equal to true. So generally secure tokens are unique and the next one we want to add the expired ads. So we want to add the expiry time. So it's going to be a date time field, local date time expired ads, because we want to make sure that a user cannot reuse an expired token. And we are going to have a column annotation, the name of this is going to be expired at the same name and we are going to allow updatable to be false the annotation to um, assign a field to be either optional or not is a basic annotation and I'm going to say optional is false and we also need the user that owns this token right so it's going to be private user user now it, tell, it tells us that we have um, an error because we need to reference the user table. So I'm going to add at many to one. So one user can actually have many tokens can be assigned to one user or one user can have many tokens. We want to map it by the reference column is user, right? The reference column so the, this is user, the, the name of the field on the secure token uh, table will be user ID. So this is important for you to understand. When you use Hibernate and you create a join column that references an object in the table, Hibernate is going to create an ID. So we are not manually creating this ID because Hibernate is going to add one additional column called the ID. That is the foreign key on the other table, on the reference table, but the column uh, is actually user. So reference column name is user. Yes. So we've completed creating the secure button model and we are ready to move on to the next step. So let's move to the next step.